Let's discuss variable naming conventions in Python. In this presentation, we will study the following topics. The first topic is variable naming conventions. And the second topic is chained assignment of variables. Let's start with variable naming conventions. What do we mean by variable naming conventions? In Python, we are allowed to name variables according to some rules or conventions. In this presentation, we will discuss those rules one by one. Let's start with the first rule. The first rule is a variable name can contain only letters, numbers, and underscores. We can name variables using letters, numbers, and underscores, but we are not allowed to use any special character like at the rate, hash, dollar, percent, ampersand. These special characters cannot be used while naming variables. For example, if we go to our command prompt and type Python and hit enter, in this way we can activate Python interactive shell. Now if we type jazz underscore 12 equal to 10 and hit enter, we will not get any error because we are allowed to use letters, underscores and digits in our variable names. But if we write jazz at the rate hash dollar one two equal to ten, and if we hit enter, we will get syntax error, invalid syntax from Python, because we are not allowed to use these special characters in our variable names. I hope this idea is clear. Let's move on to rule number two. A variable name can start with a letter or an underscore, but not with a number. So, we can start a variable name with a letter or an underscore, but we cannot start a variable name with a number. For example, if we go to our command prompt and type underscore name equal to Nesso, this is perfectly allowed. We can start a variable name with an underscore. If we hit enter, we will not get any error. But if we type one underscore name equal to Nesso, and if we hit enter, we will get syntax error, invalid decimal literal. This statement states that we cannot start a variable name with a number. We can start a variable name with an underscore or a letter, but we cannot start a variable name with a number. Let's move to rule number three. Spaces are not allowed in variable names. We cannot use spaces, but in place we can use underscores. For example, if we type student underscore name equal to Tom and if we hit enter, we will not get any error. But if we type student space name equal to Tom and now if we hit enter, we'll get syntax error, invalid syntax statement from Python. This means that we cannot use spaces in our variable names. In place, we can use underscores. So whenever we have multi word variable names, we can use underscores to separate those words. Let's move to rule number four. Variable names should be short and descriptive. What do we mean by this? Variable names need to be very short, but at the same time, they need to be descriptive as well. Let's consider one example to understand this rule better. Again, we are in our command prompt. This time, we need to type t underscore n equal to Miss Angela. This variable is pointing to this name, Miss Angela, the string. But this name is not making any sense. T underscore n, what do we mean by this? If we hit enter, we will not get any error. But this name is not that descriptive. In place, if we type teacher underscore n equal to Miss Angela, then this name is making more sense to us. It clearly states that this variable teacher name is pointing to Miss Angela, which means that Miss Angela is the name of the teacher. If we hit enter, we will not get any error, of course. We just need to understand that we should name our variables short and descriptive. Teacher name is short as well as descriptive. In place of teacher name, we can also write name of the teacher, but name of the teacher is not that short. So, it is better to choose name which is short and descriptive. Let's move to rule number five. 
variable names are case sensitive. In order to understand this rule, let's consider one example. Let's type x equal to 10 and hit enter. We'll not get any error. This time, we need to type x equal to 10, but this letter should be a small letter. If we hit enter, again we will not get any error. We need to understand this that these two variables are different. They are not same. This is capital X and this is small x. In Python, variable names are case sensitive. Capital X is not same as small x, or we can say uppercase X is not same as lowercase x. We need to understand this that variable names are case sensitive in Python. So these two variables are different. We are done with all the rules that we need to understand. Let's move on to a very important point now. For multi-word variable names, any of the following conventions can be followed. We can follow camel case convention, pascal case convention, or snake case convention for multi-word variable names. In camel case convention, second and subsequent words are always capitalized. For example, we can write student name like this. This name consists of two words, student and name. First letter of this word is not capitalized, but first letter of this word is capitalized. This is what I have written. Second and subsequent words are always capitalized. This means that second word is capitalized in this name, but first word is not capitalized. When I say a word is capitalized, I mean that the first letter of that word is capitalized. Okay? Pascal case convention is same as camel case convention, but first word is also capitalized. This means in place of small s here, we must have capital S. So, this is Pascal case convention. In snake case convention, words are separated by underscores. For example, we can write student underscore name. Throughout this course, we will follow snake case convention. And I would encourage you to follow the same so as to maintain the uniformity. I hope variable naming conventions are completely clear to you. This means we are done with this topic. Now let's move to chained assignment of variables. Python allows chained assignment which helps in assigning same value to multiple variables in the same line. So Python allows us to use chained assignment which makes it easy for us to assign same value to multiple variables that two in the same line. For example, we can type x equal to y equal to z equal to 10. And if we hit enter, we will not get any error. This is chained assignment. x, y and z are pointing to the same value 10. So, if the requirement is to assign same value to multiple variables, we can use Python chained assignment feature. Now, if we type x plus y plus z and hit enter, will get 30 as a result because all these variables are pointing to the same value 10. So, x is replaced by 10, y is replaced by 10 and z is replaced by 10. When we hit enter, we will get 30 as a result. I hope this is clear. This means that we are done with this topic also, chained assignment of variables. We are done with these two topics. We have understood variable naming conventions. We have seen different types of conventions as well for multi-word variable names. We will use snake case convention throughout this course. This is the takeaway. And we have also studied chained assignment of variables, which allows us to assign same value to multiple variables in the same line. Now we are done with this lecture. Okay friends, this is it for now. Thank you for watching this presentation. I'll see you in the next one.